XCOM is a science fiction video game franchise featuring the titular fictional organization tasked with countering alien invasions of Earth. The series began with the hit strategy video game UFO, Enemy Unknown created by Mythos Games and Microprose in 1994. The original lineup by Microprose included six published and at least two cancelled games, as well as two novels. The XCOM series, in particular its original entry, achieved a sizable cult following and has also influenced many other video games, including creation of a number of clones, spiritual successes, and unofficial remakes. A reboot series entitled XCOM was published by 2K Games, beginning with the strategy video game XCOM, Enemy Unknown, developed by Firaxis Games and released in 2012 to critical and commercial success, with two more games following in 2013. Games, XCOM Games The XCOM core series consisted of four main games published by Microprose, UFO Enemy Unknown, XCOM, Terror from the Deep, XCOM, Apocalypse and XCOM, Interceptor. The premise of the franchise is that a mysterious alien invasion began in 1999. In response, a coalition of funding nations clandestinely create an elite paramilitary organization codenamed XCOM as humankind's last hope. The player is charged with leading this secret force, tasked to engage and research the alien threat. Upon finishing the game successfully, XCOM manages to capture and reverse engineer enough of the invaders' technology to decisively turn it against them. The sequels took the fight against new alien invasions underwater, into a futuristic megacity, and eventually into space. UFO, Enemy Unknown, featured a turn-based ground combat system, and remains the most popular and successful game in the series and has been often featured on various lists of best video games of all time. The first sequel, Terror from the Deep, was quickly created by Microprose's internal team. Based on the same game engine and used largely identical gameplay mechanics. Apocalypse took several new directions with the series, introducing an optional real-time combat system and shifting the aesthetics to a retro-futuristic style. Despite being developed by Julian Gollop's British studio Mythos Games, the original creators of Enemy Unknown, it failed to repeat its smash success. The last released XCOM main game, Interceptor, constitutes a hybrid of a strategy game and a space combat flight simulator. After Interceptor, Hasbro Interactive purchased Microprose, acquiring its studios and the XCOM brand, and, according to GameSpy, there was wild talk of XCOM toys, comics, and cartoon shows. A budget range, turn-based tactical play-by-mail multiplayer game M at Eel Games, XCOM was released in 1999. In 2001, Hasbro published XCOM, Enforcer, a poorly received third-person shooter loosely based on the events of Enemy Unknown, marking a low point in the series. The XCOM games were also released as part of four compilation releases, XCOM, XCOM Collection and XCOM, Complete Pack, as well as in 2K Huge Games Pack in 2009. Cancelled XCOM Games at least two more major titles were planned for the series, XCOM, Genesis and XCOM, Alliance. However, both of these projects were cancelled after X Microprose Hasbro Interactive Studios were all shut down in 1999-2000. Years later, Terry Greer, a senior artist and head of game design at Microprose UK, disclosed, we'd also discussed other avenues for future, XCOM games including time travel, retaking the solar system, and resistance movement concept where you had to fight back after the world was taken and humanity was totally under the alien yoke. XCOM Games In April 2010, 2K Marin announced they were working on reimagining of XCOM, relabeled as XCOM, to be released for the PC, PlayStation 3 and XBOX 360. It is described as a tactical and strategic first-person shooter supposed to combine elements from the original XCOM alongside a new setting and viewpoint while keeping some main concepts from the original game series. The setting received a complete overhaul, now based in the early 1960s, with the XCOM being a U.S. federal agency. Originally planned for 2011, 
The game was released on August 20, 2013 as the Bureau, XCOM Declassified. In January 2012, Firaxis Games announced the development of a PC, PlayStation 3 and XBOX 360 strategy game XCOM, Enemy Unknown, a reimagination of UFO, Enemy Unknown with real-time strategic view, turn-based combat and destructible tactical environments more in vain of the original XCOM game. It is also set in a more contemporary setting than the XCOM game by 2K Marin. XCOM, Enemy Unknown was released on October 9, 2012 to critical acclaim, winning multiple Game of the Year awards. Julian Gollop hailed it as a phoenix rising from the ashes of the XCOM disaster, saying that Eta Euro unregistered trademark s amazing that after 20 years, a brand that had gone so badly in the wrong direction has finally been put right. In November 2013, Firaxis released a downloadable content for the base game XCOM, Enemy Unknown titled XCOM, Enemy Within. It was available on Steam, as well as for the PlayStation 3 and XBOX 360. Other media, literature, there are two XCOM novels based on the first game in the series, Diane Duane's 10COM, UFO Defense, a novel and Vladimir Basilyev's Enemy Unknown. According to Rock, Paper, Shotgun's negative review of Duane's novel, it is hampered by a poor understanding of the game, a lack of focus, emotional resonance and tension, and an unstructured plot. Microprose's John Possident also wrote three short stories taking place between the events of the first two games in the series. Board Game, a board game based the 2012 reboot is scheduled for release in Q4 2014 by Fantasy Flight Games. Intellectual property rights, the trademark for the XCOM name was filed on May 25, 1995, by Microprose Software. According to Julian Gollop, they wanted us to do a deal where we would sign over any rights that we might have in return for some cash plus a high royalty on XCOM, Apocalypse. They more or less insisted on it, otherwise they were threatening to cancel the Apocalypse project, so there was a lot of bluff involved. Following the acquisition and subsequent merger of Microprose with Hasbro, the XCOM intellectual property was also transferred to Hasbro Interactive on August 19, 1998. Due to financial difficulties, Hasbro Interactive was sold to Infogrames Entertainment, SA on January 29, 2001. As part of this transfer, the XCOM IP was legally transferred to Infogrames on December 21, 2001. In 2005, Atari, SA transferred several IPs to take two interactive software, Incorporated and XCOM was transferred with them on June 12, 2005. The XCOM IP is currently owned by Take Two and its subsidiaries. By 2007, first rumors emerged that Irrational Games were developing a new XCOM title. In May 2007, 2K Games inherited the XCOM franchise and re-released Terra from the Deep on Steam. In September 2008, UFO, Enemy Unknown, Apocalypse, Interceptor and Enforcer were also re-released as downloadable titles. The first 2K Games XCOM, which has been in works actually since 2003, was finally completed and released in 2012. Spiritual successes, because of the series' popularity, Various developers have created spiritual successor games similar in theme and tone of the XCOM games. The level to which they borrow from the original series varies. Commercial, Abomination, The Nemesis Project is a real-time tactics-slash-action game developed by Hothouse Creations and released by Eidos Interactive for the PC in 1999 that has been touted as XCOM meets Day of the Dead in real time. Aliens vs. Humans is a 2012 UFO. Enemy Unknown clone for the iPhone and iPad. Gollop highlighted it an example of indie remakes in his XCOM Legacy chart. Guardians, Agents of Justice is an unreleased game by Simtex and Microprose, which was described as a superhero version of XCOM. Incubation, Time is Running Out is a turn-based combat PC game that was considered to be, what XCOM Apocalypse should have been. It was developed and released by German company Bluebyte Software in 1997. 
Isomer is an upcoming indie strategy game currently under development which was also heavily influenced by the XCOM series as well as other games such as Dwarf Fortress and Minecraft. It blends real-time strategy combat with world exploration and sandbox gameplay. Laser Squad Nemesis is a 2002 turn-based low-budget PC turn-based tactics game developed by Gollop's new company, Kodo Technologies, very similar to the Battlescape ground combat system of the first XCOM game. In 2005, Kodo Technologies and publisher Namco also released the Game Boy Advance turn-based tactics game Rebelstar, Tactical Command, which was as well reminiscent of the early Battlescape system. The Dreamland Chronicles, Freedom Ridge was a strategy game for the PC and PlayStation 2 by Julian Gollop's Mythos Games, claimed to having been essentially a remake of the first XCOM with 3D graphics. The Dreamland Chronicles was cancelled in 2001 and Mythos Games soon ceased to exist. UFO Aftermath is a 2003 single-player PC strategy and real-time tactics game which was heavily influenced by the XCOM series and used elements of the Mythos games cancel the Dreamland Chronicles. It was created by Czech company Alter Interactive and published by Tri-Synergy. Aftermath was followed by two sequels, UFO Aftershock in 2005 and UFO Afterlight in 2007. UFO Extraterrestrials a PC strategy slash turn-based tactics game that is an unofficial sequel to the XCOM games, developed by Czech developer Chaos Concept and released by Tri-Synergy in 2007. The follow-up game, UFO 2 Extraterrestrials, Shadows Over Earth was supposed to be released in Q4 of 2012. Its current status is unclear. UFO Online A Euro Fight for Earth is an upcoming, browser-based massively multiplayer tactical game. Gollop called it actually more a clone of Incubation. It is free to play, but will use a micropayment system to generate revenue. Xnonauts is a PC strategy game by British independent studio Goldhawk Interactive, again heavily influenced by the XCOM series. It is being marketed as a Cold War era reimagining of the original UFO, Enemy Unknown and an answer to 2K's The Bureau. XCOM Declassified which alienated some of the XCOM fan base due to its FPS-based gameplay. The game missed several release dates, but was finally released in June 2014. Xenowar is an open-source, simple tactical game for the Android and Windows operating systems. Other, UFO, Alien Invasion is a free-to-play open-source cross-platform strategy slash turn-based tactics game heavily influenced by the XCOM series. A similar open-source game still in pre-release phase is X-Force, Fight for Destiny. Still another, Project Xenocide, was aborted in 2010. UFO Online is a tactical MMORPG that is available only in Russian. Fan remake projects for UFO, Enemy Unknown include XCOM, Last Hope, UFO, The Two Sides, UFO, Sidonia's Fall, XCOM, Origin and The Rebel Squad, a defunct project by Sam Liu Open XCOM is an open source re-implementation of that game to fix all the bugs and enable modding. XCOM, Tactical is a board game reproducing the squad tactics element of the first game. See also, Laser Squad a science fiction tactical game by the original creators of XCOM and an immediate predecessor of XCOM. Rebel Star series, precursor games to both Laser Squad and the XCOM series, also created by the same developers. References External links, official website, XCOM at Moby Games, XCOM at TV Tropes, XCOM Commanders, Jake Solomon and Julian Gollop interviewed at Firexis Games, Enemy Unknown, an XCOM retrospective at GameSpy, Yearthopedia, an extensive wiki containing information, analysis, strategy, and other resources for the XCOM series of games. XCOM, the oldest XCOM website still on the web. XCOM, UFO Defense, another XCOM fan site with numerous resources and patches for the Windows versions of the XCOM games. StrategyCore.co.uk News, fan fiction, files and forums. XCOM Trilogy Fopedia, the original and game encyclopedias of the first three XCOM games.